I thought it was a really good performance by both fighters, not just Canelo. I felt like, you know, Billy Joe Sanders, he was doing really good until he got caught with that shot. I think what really messed him up is just having his hands so low like that. I felt like if he would have, you know, kind of has had his hands a little bit up, you know, he wouldn't have got caught with the shot like that. But you know what I'm saying? And this is boxing. Anything could happen. But, you know, I felt like his, his lateral movement was really good. He had a good jab. It's just that he got caught with that shot, man. And Canelo, you know, I like Canelo's fighting style too, man. He has some great body shots and, you know, just, just him cutting the ring and trying to get to Billy Joe Sanders, man. You could just tell his, his ring IQ. He he does so much stuff, you know, Canelo. So, you know, I'm I've always, I'm always going to be a fan of boxing. You know, I like Canelo. I like, you know, even though we might fight in the future, you know, I have nothing against that guy. You know, at the end of the day, I'm a fan of boxing and it was a great fight, man. Yeah. He, you know what? He, he got a lot better. Uh, when you compare that style to the Arizlandi Lara fight and uh, the the um, Austin Trout fight, like, yeah, like, it showed that his his IQ uh, grew a lot because he that that shot that he got was from a counter punch on a guy that's defensive. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, man. I mean, just I think overall, what what makes him so good is is all his experience, man. He's fought so much great fighters that he's kind of seen a lot of the uh uh he's seen he's seen the a lot of the same styles over and over again. So. Now he's, I think he's coming into his, his, you know, he's really getting, he's becoming, he's became a great fighter and he kind of knows how to, how to handle that style now. I think back then when he fought Lara, he had a little bit of problems with that style because he hadn't seen this uh, before. But now I think with all his experience, man, he's just, that, that guy, he's a great champion. When you see what happened in the fight, specifically like in the, the middle rounds, did you feel that, Saunders was giving him trouble like did you feel that Canelo was having trouble at spots or you felt overall like Canelo was just imposing himself in the fight no I felt like Canelo was definitely having trouble you know it's always hard to you know catch a fighter that's always on the, on the defensive mode but like I said with his experience man he ended up breaking him down he caught him with a great shot but um if, if by any by any means it was not an easy fight for Canelo I kind of, I think I had Billy Joe Sanders up like at least a round or two rounds, but it was it was a it was a great fight, man. Oh wow, you had him up winning the fight. I had him up, right? At least. Oh winning. wow, yeah. crazy. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I, I was seeing scorecards the night of the fight, and they were all over the place, but I felt overall Canelo was winning. Why yeah. did you think that uh, Saunders was winning the fight, dude? I think it was just his movement, man. His movement, you know, he was boxing him beautifully. He was using his jab a lot. You know, a lot of people didn't give him a lot of credit for using his jab. You know, using his lateral movement. But I felt like even if he would have won, they they wouldn't have gave it to him. I don't think they would have gave it to him on, on the scorecards. I think for him to win that fight, he had to knock him out. Mm. Mm. In terms of uh, how the fight ended, um, you know, this is a big topic. A lot of people feel that Saunders quit in, in the fight because of what happened. Um, a lot of people have been going back and forth. A, a lot of fighters have been going in on, going in on, on Saunders but, uh, with the way the fight ended because of his uh, prior comments uh, towards other fighters uh, that uh, have had that same type of injury. What do you make of, of how the way the, the fight ended? And, and do you think it's right of fans to say that he quit? I mean, uh, at the end of the day, you know, the only person who knows how he felt was him. You know, what if you couldn't see? I mean, I, a lot of people want to talk shit. They're going to say whatever they want to say. But what if you would have kept going in the fight and had not have quit and, you know, his eye would have been permanently damaged? You know what I mean? Some say he would have kept receiving shots and we would have kept fighting. So imagine you go in a fight, you come into a fight, and then you you come out without an eye or you can't even see. He's partially blind from that eye. You know what I mean? So I don't know. A lot of people can say whatever they want to say, but at the end of the day, nobody knew knows how Billy Joe Sanders felt, you know? So, I mean, if he wanted to quit, you know what I mean? It's, it's up to him, man. Um, I felt like, you know, sir, there was, there would have been some other people that would have kept going, man, but you don't want to just get permanently damaged, and especially with the eye, man. You know, maybe he'll live, he'll live to box another day. If he would have kept going, maybe he wouldn't have had an eye or something, man. So, I don't know. It's a, honestly, it's just people saying, talking, you know, just keep talking. You know, I, I totally agree with you, you know, and, and I put something out, you know, saying that, you know, that it's not like it was uh, like a, a swollen eye or a shut eye. Like he, he broke his, his face and, and like one more punch, like he, he could go permanently blind. And like, I, I just don't get it. I don't I don't think any fight uh, for, for you guys is worth, you know, losing an eye over, losing vision for your whole entire life. And, and you guys have to deal with it while people are just like, oh, well, you should have continued. I'm like, nah, man, like, yeah, that, that's a legit injury in a fight to say you know what nah i'm good like i, I don't want to be blind and it's okay for someone to be like you know what 
I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm choosing not to continue anymore because at the end of the day, you can't replace freaking eye. Like exactly. Yeah. You know? <laughs> But I think the only thing, guys, that um, is is the difference with Billy Joe Saunders is that Billy Joe Saunders watch other fighters who put their lives on the line uh, receive beatings, fight longer than he did with the same type of injury, um, and he ridiculed them, even saying basically that he he'd leave the ring in a bag before uh, before he quit. And, you know, it's just I think that that is what the population, you know, you're a victim of the things that you say. I mean, I think that that's what Billy Joe Saunders is falling on his own sword. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's understandable, too. I mean, if he went out there and say that he would never quit like that and then he ends up quitting now, I know why people are talking shit. I didn't know that he would he ridiculed other fighters that had the same Daniel injury. Daniel Dubois is what he ridiculed. Then, that, then that's understandable. But, you know, at the end of the day, he it's his decision. You know, he has to live with it, you know. So, I mean, I didn't think he was going to win anyways, but. You know, it was a good fight. I mean, now he could he could live the box another day, or he could see out of his eyes. So I mean, no doubt, no doubt. you know, he had to do what was best for his health. So no, yeah, and yeah, I think that's why people are going so hard on him is, is yeah, because of it. that. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but but I think it's just I don't know. I, I think the whole like the, the the narrative of like a fighter quitting because they broke their jaw or like their eye socket broke. Like I don't know. To me, like I think it's. At, at that, it's not like he got hit with a hard punch. He got rattled, and then he said, "Like you know what, I'm dipping out now." Nah. You know, like that—that that I could understand. But if it's like something like your face is broken, like I know there's been fighters that have fought through broken jaws, but to me, that's a legit thing to be like, "Nah, I'm, I'm good." You know, my jaw got freaking broken. Like I'm not gonna be able to talk right for the rest of my life. You know? Yeah. David, let me ask you a question though, um, because now see, I, I think that you're the type of guy that you recognize that. Canelo's opponents have kind of come in slightly defeated in their minds already, right? Their their things are slanted, um, but I generally feel like you're a different animal, and that you're coming in uh, truly. If you got that opportunity, that you truly lay everything out there to beat him. Talk to us about that. Yeah, man. Like I said, this is you know this is something I've wanted my whole life. You know, this is if, if that fight would ever happen, that would be the biggest moment of my life. You know, and just. Now that I just had a son, you know, I'm, I'm extremely motivated, you know, on every level. And I feel like everything is happening perfect, perfectly for me right now. And I'm in a, a great place in my life, you know. So, like I said, man, I'm just I'm just I'm, I'm excited and I'm ready. You know, hopefully I get that opportunity, you know, for me, my fans and my people, man, I'll make it a great fight. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at... Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.